Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. Um, I don't know how how much of my neighbor mowing his lawn, like three houses away, is coming through. But hopefully it's not detracting from the video too much. Because I am about to crack open my first Carlsberg. This is Carlsberg Elephant Premium Pilsner. I... I've never had a Carlsberg before, I've seen them around for years, and I don't know why I've, I've just never picked it up. But um, my local liquor store, Pony Creek Liquor, was having a sale. They're trying to clear out all their uh, mix and match beers. I, I don't know what the deal is. I'm thinking maybe they were trying to to clear off that end cap so that they could get their uh, start getting their Christmas stuff out, because it, it's been replaced with uh, Christmas gift sets of well, you know, various liquor things, but... <clears throat> so, yeah, I actually got this for a buck. It was a steal. There was two of them, so I grabbed them both. Because I know um, they sell them in four packs, I think. It might be seven ninety nine four pack. so... That is a bargain. I, I honestly wish they had had more. I mean, they, it's just... Um, you don't see the tall boys in the mix and match, and this is actually a 500 milliliter can, or one pint, one pint point nine fluid ounces, so 16.9 ounces. And yeah, I, I'm excited to try this. And for all I know, it's garbage, but it's it's a beer, so I know I'm gonna like it. So. Anywho, um, pale golden color. Elephant is rich in multi character with a hint of caramel, balanced by satisfyingly dry bitterness. Once enjoyed, never forgotten. And it weighs in at 7.2%. So, yeah, I feel like Carlsberg is a pretty big brewery over in Europe. I feel like. I feel like they're. Danish or Swedish? Yeah, product of Denmark, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to, to try it. I know they have like just a standard Carlsberg at the liquor store too, so I'll have to try that at some point. And since it's a bigger can, it gives me a chance to get out my Bubba Gump glass. probably like the Bubba Gump Shrimp Factory a little bit more than anybody should. I mean, it's a franchise place, it's, and it's a theme restaurant, but I, and I know it's not even that great of a movie per se, but I, I love Forrest Gump, and uh, you can't go wrong with a, a shrimp po' boy, so that's what I always get there, and then I, I've got glasses from, like, maybe three different Bubba Gumps. I'm trying to think. I know I've been to at least three different Bubba Gumps, maybe four. Anyway, I digress. So yeah, um, great color. It's, uh, it's interesting, at least from my perspective. The bottom of the glass, where it's skinnier, it's lighter in color than up here. It's more of a, like a golden or a golden brown, where down here it's like a straw yellow. Uh, even with a softer pour, it's, it's got a piece of head that seems to be hanging around and white head. Certainly my neighbor that was mowing also has a monster truck and decided to get it out of the shed. I suppose it's not really a monster truck, it's just a pickup with a lift kit, but it's it's bigger than my little station wagon, so. Got a nice multi character to it. Very ready, biscuity sort of smell. I don't know. It smells like it's going to taste good. Guess there's only one thing left to do. Cheers. And 
and yeah, it tastes a lot like it smells. Um, and malt is definitely the star of the show. A uh, little bit of bitterness, uh, a drier finish. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a dry finish. I've definitely had beers that are like dry. Um, had one uh, about a year ago. That would be my Chihuahua bossing everybody around. Um, anyway, yeah. I, oh God, I cannot remember what the name of that beer was, but I had a beer that was more like a, a Moscato, so it was like super dry. And even though it said it has a drying, bitter finish, satisfyingly dry bitterness, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's it's a good beer. I. I I would definitely drink this again. Um, it's just not as dry as I was expecting when somebody makes note of saying that it, that it's dry, that, you know, I expect it to be dry, but it's a... Uh, I don't know. It, it... Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's just not super dry, I guess. A little, little bit dry in there, a little bit of bitterness. But really, it just got a nice malty character to it. Um, pretty standard of European lagers. At 7.2, I mean, sometimes you can taste the alcohol, but I really don't notice it here. So, I don't know. It's a pretty good beer. I'm glad I picked these up, and I suppose at some point I'll have to pay full price for them, because I, I think I'm going to drink more of them. Eventually. Once I get through all the beers in my fridge, I, 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 I have that problem that I'm sure most of us do. We maybe enjoy buying beer more, even more than we like drinking it. You go to a store with a great selection, and you end up buying way more than what you plan on drinking. I, I and when I picked this up, there was it was everything that was in the mix and max session that was. Uh, on sale and so I picked up a lot of beers and so I went from being almost done with all the beers that I needed to review to having a bunch of beers that I need to review again so what do you do I mean these damn first world problems am I right <laughs> all right well if you liked what you saw please hit the like and subscribe button below and don't forget to tell your friends and this is the multi-gentleman reminding you you only have one liver so use it wisely